and welcome back to my channel. This is my official first video of 2022 and I'm going to be trying out some Milk, Glossier, and NYX makeup products. And my opinions and first impressions on all of them and also like a vlog because I have nothing else to do today and I got ready. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup and vlog all in one. So if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and follow me on all my social medias and yeah, let's get on. So I already did my whole skincare routine so I'm just going to show you guys the products that I use after I wash my face. So I would usually go in with a toner and recently I've been using the La Mer, the treatment lotion has worked really well on my skin I've been consistently using it and I've seen a big difference in my skin because I have like combination but during the winter it gets like super dry and after I put that on I use this moisturizer from LA I've been using this for like it's like elementary school and it has an SPF of 15 so that's all I put on my face after I wash it and now I'm gonna start showing you guys the new makeup products that I recently found through TikTok or through YouTube or just like through social media so the first product that I'm gonna be trying out is this primer from milk so this is is the hydro grip primer and I've seen this on TikTok a lot and it was sold out literally everywhere so when I went to Vegas I found it I'm excited to try this on like the number one problem that I have with wearing makeup during this pandemic is it always comes off on my mask and I've tried it multiple like setting sprays setting powders and everything but it always just comes off but I've heard like such good reviews on this so it comes in this like little bottle and I forgot how much this was but I'll link all the products that I use in this video down below a little bit and then see how it like feels Okay, so it's kind of like grippy, it's kind of sticky. Overall, I think it's pretty good. I used kind of a lot already, and this bottle I think was like $15, $18. Another product that I've been using recently is the NYX Pore Filler. So I've been sleeping really late, so that's why my pores are starting to show again. And ever since like I moved um, to college, like I sleep so late now. My early is like 1, and 1 o'clock used to be so late for me. Like, senior year, I would sleep at 10.30 because I wanted at least 8 hours of sleep because I would wake up at 6.30. Now that I'm in college and I make my own classes, my own schedule, I sleep at like 1 to 3, wake up at 10, and then go to class. Like it's really bad. So my skin got so bad the first semester of my second year. So I'm going to try to fix it during this winter break because I have three more weeks of being at home. So I usually put this on like my cheeks and then is this the T-zone? I don't know. And then I put it like above my brow just so like it's um, smoother when I put on like concealer when I fix it and everything. I discovered this product because I saw my fam use this and it worked really well on her so I decided to try it. I'm gonna try the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint and I bought two because I couldn't find a shade that like matched me when I went to the store in LA and I wanted to try out their products because I want to try like a more like natural look for this year. I got the Perfecting Skin Tint. I got it in the shade G9 and G10. So I'm super excited to try this. You just like put it on at like a moisturizer but I don't like putting on makeup with my hands so I'm going to be using a sponge really close in shade I don't think you can even tell on camera so I'm just going to shake both of them and before I put on the um, skin tint I'm going to be putting on the Glossier Future Dew so this helps like make um, your makeup more dewy I think so I like to put some on my face before like I start my whole like routine and people usually put it in like certain areas that they know that it's like going to glow and everything like that so I just tend to put it on my cheeks pretty much and that's it. I ended up putting it like all over my face but it's whatever. My face is like super red in the morning. I don't know why. I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand. It's like really watery. Can't even see it. So this is G9. So I'm just gonna like mix it with my fingers and then like put some on my face. I don't know, I'm like applying it like I would apply my foundation. I would say it's super watery though. I wiped like all of it pretty much off my hand. I can't really tell if it like did a difference because my skin has been like super red. But I think I'm gonna put some more because that was not enough. So I'm just gonna keep mixing the two shades together. Okay, so that's how it looks like on my face. It looks super natural. Like when I usually do my makeup, I wear a lot of foundation for full coverage. And I, I've been using the Fenty Beauty foundation for like maybe three years now. Okay, I'm kind of impressed. I had really low expectations for this of it to like not really work, I guess. 
so that's the skin tint and then I also got the concealer because there was like a deal going on for Glossier like they have a lot of sets and lots of deals and the concealer that I've been using for the past maybe three or four months is the elf hydrating camel concealer I got this from Target I think it works really well and it's really hydrating so when you put it on your face and you're trying to look for your brush or waiting for it to like maybe set a bit it doesn't like dry up really quick I try the Glossier concealer and I've seen lots of people like, use their fingers as well I mean like I guess that's the only way but it looks like this I got it in the shade G10 I really don't want to use my finger for this but that's how people do it I can't even tell if I got anything okay I got some like you can't even tell and I'm just gonna put it under my eyes along with some of my cheek because my cheek is really red Okay, so I just put more under my eyes, hoping that there's a difference, but I can't even tell myself. And then I'm gonna put some like here because I've been breaking out a lot near like my chin area. And I don't know, maybe it's the weather. I'm not stressed or anything, so I don't know what it could be. Put on the concealer, now my thing looks like this. So I've always used the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown, but since like this video is about like trying new products, I guess might as well do that. So I'm gonna try out the Glossier Boy Brow, and my friends have used this, and they said it's really good, and I didn't get my brows threaded or done, and I was going to do that like two weeks ago, but then I got too lazy to go to downtown because then I would have to bust, and I just don't want to bust since I like drive everywhere now so i got this in the shade um brown so i'm just gonna follow the shape of my brow and see how it goes oh my god that's i got like too much on it i don't even know if there's gonna be a difference but we shall see oh there is a difference it's like way darker i don't know if i like it though i can't tell if i like it or i hate it because it's way darker than how i would usually do my brows because Till this day, like I still don't know how to do my eyebrows. An another eye related like makeup product I want to try but I can't now because I have extensions is the mascara from Glossier. So I actually used this maybe once or twice when I went to Vegas because I had no extensions. I had the mascara and it's actually really good. And I've never like used mascara like daily or anything like that because once I start to get like into makeup, I start getting extensions and then I never went back. I don't know, like I want to try all these products but like I always cave into my extensions but this mascara is really good. All my friends use it. Let me show you guys just like how it looks like and this is like the applicator and I will definitely use it again when I don't have extensions but I feel like I'm gonna keep doing them until maybe April because my birthday is next month and then spring break and then April is kind of like dead and then May is like school over but then it's summer again so let's just see how my lash journey goes and then another product I wanted to try is the Grande Lash Serum so all my friends use this and it works really well and that my mom uses it and it's been growing so I want to use it but then as soon as I bought it I got my extensions again so so I guess that's it for like the base part so I also got this from Glossier it's their blush and I never wear like blush or anything like dramatic or contour or bronzer on my face because I feel like I just don't know how to do it so I got this in the shade spark because I wanted to buy enough for free shipping because I hate paying for shipping even though if that means like spending more and all the reviews I've seen on like YouTube like it's super dramatic so let's see how this goes I forgot how people did this it was either like they put it on their face or they put it on their finger i mean there's like a dot but what's <gasps> anyways so ooh, that's very from that i got a lot of it on my face i knew this would happen this finger is the finger that i would use to like blend it in but there's a lot so i'm just gonna use this finger i look like a clown how do people do this? BRB. This side, I did well, but I have to get that off. And then this side looks like a disaster. I still have that much like left on the side of the tube. If you couldn't tell, I'm not a makeup person. So I'm gonna fix this disaster on my face. And I just like mix more of the skin tint and I'm just gonna like put it on my face, like on top of it. This is not going good. Now it actually looks like a whole canvas on my face. Start over. So I'm gonna attempt to remove like that whole layer that I just put on because it's literally red. 
So I removed that part of my face off and I'm just gonna go back with the primer and everything and then redo it. Like my face is still red because under, like my cheeks are naturally just red. If this is your first time watching me, I'm so sorry. I'm just gonna wait for that to set. Maybe blush is just like not for me. And I still have some of like the skin tint on the back of my hand. So we're just gonna use that. I think I'm gonna need a little bit more. Most people usually go in like maybe one time. I went in three times with this. Okay, so I kind of fixed it and my face is like super red. I, for I missed a step. I forgot to put my pore filler on this side. So I it doesn't look that big of a difference, but we shall see after. And if I mess it up again, then I'm actually gonna cry. Okay, I'm gonna try again. So I'm blending it into my face with this sponge and hopefully it works. Can you tell that it's blush and not because my face is actually super red? So I kind of fixed the disaster on my face. You can't even tell that I put on blush anymore because I kind of concealed it because I just didn't like how it looked and I think I'll try it again a different time and then we'll see how it actually looks but just not today. But here's how my skin looks like in like different lighting I guess and I think this was like a perfect shade match because I feel like it actually matches my like skin tone. So another product that I've been using kind of recently is this um, eye pencil from NYX. So I saw it on TikTok. Lots of people put it in like the inner corners and I did that when I didn't have lashes and it kind of brought out my eyes so I've been doing it like a lot recently or when I wear makeup because I haven't worn makeup in like over a week so I just like put it in the inner corner of my eye like that and then I use my finger to like blend it so it's not like too dramatic I don't know you can't even tell or see it anymore but it's there and some people put it on their nose but I don't like putting makeup on my nose and then they put it on their like brow bone like that and then they also like blend it in but I feel like it doesn't really make a difference for me just do it anyways because that's what TikTok says and, and the last product that I'm gonna try in this video is the milk setting spray so again heard lots of reviews about it on TikTok and on YouTube so I'm gonna try it out so it just looks like this shake well then spray like before I would spray this way but now I've decided to like spray like up and down I like to drench my face so I'm just using this fan that I have from Daiso that I bought for when I'm drying like my extensions and I just realized that I put way too much on my face that I got the makeup bag from Glossier too because all my friends got it and then the day like I got FOMO from not getting it so literally the day after we went to the store I bought it online so I think this bag was like $28 it fits like a lot of stuff I put in like my new makeup products that I'm gonna start using like on the daily So I'm in my car, it's 11.44, so right now I'm gonna go to H Mart just to like roam around. I also didn't eat breakfast yet, so I might get like a pastry at the bakery and then just like go shopping on my by myself because like everyone either has COVID, is sick, is busy. I literally don't have any plans until like my last week of break because my friends from SoCal are coming up, but like I literally don't have plans because my job, like I was gonna work this entire break, but then um, my job, they're closing so I can't work. So it's actually really cold today. It's currently 55 degrees and I'm bundled up. It's H Mart, so let's see what I end up buying. And I'm not gonna get a cart because that's just gonna like motivate me to buy stuff. So I'm just gonna have my bag. So with I found like two things that I'm gonna get. So right now in my cart, I have Joshe and Fuji apples because I don't need to buy groceries because I'm not in college right now. Heart is literally just like empty. Let's figure out where I'm gonna get chopsticks to eat that. Camera's gonna die any second, but I got job chay because I didn't have breakfast and this is now lunch, so I'm just gonna eat this in my car and then go shop it to the mall. And I'm just gonna go shopping by myself until like two, and that's like two thirty is when my brother gets off school. My camera's gonna die. I wanted to like film myself date, but this is flopping in my face. I'm at Zara, and I can't find anything that I like, and their sitting rooms aren't open, so I can't try anything on. Myself a drink from Yifeng, and I'm leaving because there's absolutely nothing to do in this mall, and I'm bored. So I got a winter melon drink. I've been like super into it. Like my friends from SoCal, like that's what they drink. And they put me on so my camera's gonna die any second. But I'm gonna try this and then sit here for like 20 minutes until I gotta go pick up my brother at 2.30. It's not even 2 yet, but I have nothing to do and I don't like this mall because it's filled with high schoolers at the high school that's close to it. And that's why I don't like being home because it's like a whole review. It's actually really sweet, which is good because I didn't even eat much today. And I'm not even hungry. Like at first I ate because I needed to eat. So now I'm just gonna sit here until I have to go. Home's 
I was out for maybe like four hours, which isn't that much, but I had my mask on for like half of that. So here's my mask. It doesn't have much makeup on it, which is like really surprising because before like I have I would have so many lines and creases with all my makeup, especially my nose. Like that's where my makeup would come off like the most. Right now my face is like super oily. So I'm just using these oil blotting sheets from um, Target. See how much oil I accumulate off my face. That's only my forehead. Oh my god. And did you hear that? That's like the grip primer and setting spray. Oh my god, it's like clear. And now I'm gonna eat my Jolly Bee that I got with my brothers. So I just got the two piece with Jolly Spaghetti. And I haven't had Jolly Bee in like maybe a month, and maybe like two months. I'm gonna eat this and then watch some YouTube videos. And it's only four. And I've done not even I didn't really do much today, but I feel like I've done a lot. But I'm like tired now after being out for like four hours.